How's it going everyone? Chrome on Rust here again. Today we're going to have a little Diablo 3 content for you. Uh, we're going to be making a 1 million budget build. Or budget barb. It's going to be a whirlwind build. Go ahead and get things started. Probably go ahead and start off with a chest piece. And again, yes, this is going to be a 1 million build. And you should be able to farm... You know, the low MPs with this, at least. Go ahead and pull up our chest piece. There it is. Struggling. Definitely a little early. Okay. Uh, all res strength a bit. We're like 65 all res. Now uh, we're going to put our cap on all of our pieces around 80 to 100k. We'll start out with our chest at 100 though. And you can see here I am at 554346. Five, so we'll be going down to 246 as our total. Or sorry, we're going down to, uh, it's going to be a million. So we'll take this 554 five, down to 553. Five, Alright, so we're going to want like 65 all res. We'll go in here. Bump this up to at least 90 strength, like 50-ish vit. See what we got going. This one has some int on it. How much strength can we get here? 127 strength, 75 all res. Uh, this one's got a little bit more protection on it. Gold find, pick up. Life regen. We'll put in like 80 vit. And we'll get one of these four here. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and pick up this guy. 100k. Next we're going to go for some vial wards. what we can get here. No Vit. Uh, Vit's gonna make your Vile Wards increase way in price, so I don't totally recommend going for that. Uh, if you're building a bigger budget, or if you have a better budget to build your barb with, then yeah, you can go ahead and get some Vit. Definitely would be recommended then. So, we'll see how much strength we can get here. 170, 200... Might end up going with those. Let's bump our all res up to like 75. See what happens here. Now change this to strength. Uh, we'll actually end up dropping this down to 80k. Don't want to spend 100k on every piece. That'll put us over our budget for sure. We got here, one here just posted. 60k. We'll go ahead and buy that out. And uh, actually, let me pull up a calculator real fast, just so I know what kind of budget I'm working with here. And we're up to 160k right now. And next we will go with uh, probably an Andarials for the helm. Gonna want strengths for sure. Uh, we're going to want to find one here with low fire damage taken. See, like this one has 8. That's not too bad of a one to get. Go ahead and bump this up to like 170. See what comes up here. So, this one has the 9 attack speed as well, actually. So, we might just end up going ahead and grabbing that guy. Got the lowest fire damage taken as well. So yes, I'll be giving this set away to uh, one person who subscribes and leaves their battle tag at the bottom in the comments. And to a second runner-up, I'll be giving five unidentified amulets. And next we'll go ahead and we'll probably get some lacunies. Gonna want some uh, movement speed on here. 
not going to want to get it on our boots. Uh, spike prices pretty fast to do that. Drop this down to like 90, see what comes up. Get some bit, that would be great. Have one pair here, just posted, 9 attack speed. Go ahead and buy those. Go over here to my calculator real fast. Add the 23k. And the Andarials was 70k, so we'll add that. And now we are at 253k. Doing alright. And we have four of the pieces right now out of the 13. And next we'll grab an amulet. That works for me. Leave it at 80k. Maybe try to get some trifecta stats on here. Trifecta is uh, attack speed, crit chance, and crit damage. Actually can't get any for 80k. Let's bump this up to 100k, see what comes up. Still nothing actually, so we'll go ahead and take off attack speed. Throw on some strength and some bit if we can. Still nothing. And here's a whole list of them. So we'll bump this up to... See what kind of actually what kind of crit chance we can get. So we'll bump the crit chance up to like six, and this might actually be our winner right here. Fifty crit damage, not too bad. Reduce damage from melee. This one has average damage on it, and seven attack speed. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and get this one here. For 100k, I do believe. Unless any of these cheaper ones are good. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll actually grab this one. It's cheaper and it has more crit damage, more crit chance. It'll save us a little bit on our budget. 45k, we'll go ahead and add that up here in the calculator. And that brings us up to 298k. Next, we'll grab some gloves. Let's leave crit chance, crit damage, and we'll try to get the trifecta once again. Put the gloves on, a little searchy search. We got one pair chilling here. Strength, attack speed, gold find. Do, do, do. Now, let's see what we can get if we take attack speed on. Maybe we can get some all res. Make us a little tanky. How much all res can we get here? Oh wow, all the way up to 80 all res. So we'll throw on like 60 all res. See what our crit chance goes up to. 9. So we'll throw on 8 all res, or 8 crit chance. And we'll get some off this page here. 79 strength. Doubt any of these will have vit on them. If they did, we'll probably pick them up. No vit. So. Let's go ahead and bump the strength up to 70. Let's see what all res we're sitting at. I think we're just going to go ahead and go with this pair here. Nice and cheap. 15k. Go ahead and buy that out. Add the 15k here. And we are sitting at 313. So we still have almost 700k that we can still spend. And we're getting pretty close. So uh, being finished here. I guess not completely. We'll get a Grab an IK belt, maybe. Actually, we'll just go with strength. Gonna want 3% lifesteal, maybe 2-9. We can uh, find a pretty good one with it. Go on lifesteal. 2.9. Bump this up to like 170. Got a whole bunch of strengths, but we're gonna want all res, at least 60 plus. 
And we got a whole bunch here still. Drop this down to 80k. And we'll grab some off this page here. 198 strength. 2.9, 2.9. We'll just go ahead and grab this. 198 strength, extra 88 int. That extra int there is going to be an extra 8.8 .8 all res. So this belt's got effectively 80.8 .8 all res. Let's pick that up 75k. And it's no longer available. So we'll grab something else. Waited too long? Talking about it. Uh. Kind of surprised none of these have three life steal. Yeah, we'll just go to 2.9, I guess. Maybe we'll try bump this up to 100k and see if we bump this up to three. There we go, we got a couple. Probably one with decent all res if we can. Bench, cleave, weapon throw. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this one. It's got Dex Int on there. Dex will be a little extra dodge. But buy that out. 100k. Got the 3%. That's what I was looking to get on the lifesteal. Alright, so we are up to 413k. And we need some rings, pants, and boots. Let's go with the pants first. We try to get some with some uh, high vit if we can. And we, so we have two rings, pants, boots, weapons. Okay. That's six more pieces. Strength we will go with like 150. Got three here. Any of them have decent vit. Either one of these looks like it's going to be our winner. It's got more auras, but this one's got more vit, and this one's got more armor. And some more strength. Let's go ahead and buy this one out for 100k. And we're sitting at 513k. Go with our rings. Actually, we'll go ahead and get our boots. Grab our boots. Strength bit, all res. Gonna be the stats we want. It doesn't have a lot of vit. Ooh, that one has some nice, nice stats on there. 75k. Do. -do. That has like no vit. Does have int. Yeah, we'll just pick this one up here. 75k. Add that. And we're up to 588k. We'll go with our rings next here. Uh, we're going to want some crit chance, crit damage, and some strength. kind of crit chance we'll be able to work with. We'll punch in 4.5. Strength, we'll throw in 60, unless we get some more vit or something nice. Yeah, we got some here with vit. Strength, vit, damage, magic finds. Not actually too bad. So strength, vit, nothing great on there. So, we'll go ahead and pick this one up. Maybe we'll take off Vit and try to get one with attack speed if we can. None with attack speed. About average damage. A whole bunch with average damage. How much average damage can we get? Like 28. We'll throw in 11. Whittle them down here. Crit chance. 
not very high. We might forego the average damage. Let's see if we can find something else nice on here. Here's some armor or something. Yeah, here's so much some armor. Punch four. Let's see what these ones are. Nothing too great there, actually. We'll take the armor off. Put in like five crit chance. Maybe four point five. Not getting a whole lot of selections here. Definitely pushing the pushing the prices. That one's got vit. That one also has some vit. What's our strength at? Um, let's see. This ring is being a booger. So there's that one with armor we saw. Maybe we'll just grab one of them that had bit on there. One of these two. Get some more of it. Why not? 4.5 crit chance, 26 crit damage. 4.5 crit chance, 23. Lightning or poison. This one here is going to be our winner for 80k. Okay. Add that up. 80k. And we're at 668k right now. We have all of our rings. And we are down to needing just our weapons, I do believe, here. Let's go ahead and throw it on. Try it out. See where we're sitting at. Make sure that the weapon is the only things that we're going to need. Zoom. It is good to fight with you again. Alright, this, 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 all of these. Alright. Try it all on. Take off my weapons. One of these rings, that's my ring, that's my ring. Uh, what happened to the other ring? Oh, that's not my ring. What am I talking about? Okay. Defenses for over 500. All resist. That's pretty good. That's definitely a mark I wanted to hit. Over 5.5k armor. I do believe I have tough as nails on. Let's see what that is without it. It's a little under 5k. We'll go ahead and pick up our weapons now. We have 668k. That's like a hundred, a little over 150k for each one. Each weapon. Go with one hand. One with crit damage. See what comes up here. Put in our max buyout of uh, 250k. Hang on, we'll go 170. See what comes up. Good damage. Axe. Got black damage on it, but that's not going to matter for our set. So I think this is going to be our winner for 100k. Go ahead and buy this out. And we're going to probably be looking for an Echoing Fury. So that was 100k there. And we have 230. 32k to spend on an Echoing Fury. Echo. 232. Push it to the limits. And let's see what we have. So we got one here with crit damage. Int. Whole bunch of vitality. Ooh. Low fear chance. What if I threw an open socket instead? 
Yeah, that's kind of figured. So I'll throw a crit chance back on there. Where did you go? Or crit damage, excuse me. And we're gonna at least want like 45. Let's see if any of these have strength. We do, but the drop's pretty huge. Take strength off there. Probably just go with that guy. It's got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of it, and 15 all res. As I said before, the 15 or the 158 in is like 15.8 all res. Fear chance is low. That's pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and buy that out. Let's add it up. And we are sitting at 968k for a budget whirlwind barb set. Throw these in the stash. Once again, yes, I'll be giving this set away to one subscriber who comments below. And... To the runner-up, I'll be giving five unid'd amulets. It's going to be all random, so just post your battle tag in the comments. We'll go ahead and test this set out real fast. Let you see how it goes. Let us seek honor together, my friend. Really digging those pink pants. So we're sitting at 75k damage. Uh, we have, once again, we have 4,661 armor. Our all res is at 636. What other stats do we have on there? We have life steal of 3% or 6% because of our bloodlust. That's going to be pretty huge. Uh, we'll go over the skills real fast. Uh, there's a lot of videos you can check out for the build, so I'll just go over them real fast. Uh, we have bash here. I like to use bash with the additional fury. I like to get my fury back fast. Other things you could use is like frenzy, cleave, not so much. Yeah, frenzy would be another good one to go with. Uh, whirlwind, you're going to want to use hurricane on it. It's going to allow you to move faster, uh, running through the mobs. It's going to speed up your your clear times. So you could you could change out the pass or the uh, what are they called? Skill runes on this one. I wouldn't recommend it. That's the one I'd recommend. That's what pretty much everybody uses. Bash as well. That can be changed out. But Battle Rage here. You have to have Battle Rage. And you're going to have to use Into the Fray. And basically, so while under the effects of Battle Rage, crit hits have a chance to generate 15 additional fury. And why this is going to work is because of the sprint. Run like the wind. It's going to be procking, shooting out a whole bunch of tornadoes the faster you move. So those are going to tick really fast, and that's going to give you back your fury gain from this. Wrath of the Berserker, Thrive on Chaos. I definitely highly recommend using this. I'm uh, going to be able to keep your Wrath of the Berserker up longer. And War Cry, also a skill that could be swapped out, but that's what I like to use. And then for the passes, real fast, we have Ruthless, gives you crit chance, crit damage, weapon masteries. Uh, going to want to recommend using a mace or an axe for that 10% crit chance because once again the battle rage is going to proc off of crit chance so the higher your crit the more fear you're going to be generating then bloodlust this one you could use like toughest nails or nerves of steel or something like that really any of these I guess you could use to fit your play style I'm just going to go ahead and keep bloodthirster and we'll go ahead and try this build out we'll go to like uh Wherever, it really doesn't matter. We'll go with Keeps the Death Level 1. And we'll check this out. But we should definitely be really fine. You're going to want to throw up your War Cry. I'll check out a couple white mobs real fast. Ah, yes, start a plague. Gotta love it. Alright. Go ahead and try to find a lead pack now. You can see the white mobs, trash mobs, whatever you want to call them. They're dropping pretty fast. Go ahead and 
There's an elite pack. Oh, spin. Just wrap the berserker. And spin to win, guys. This is a reflex pack too, as you can see. No problem. Again, this is a 1.0.7. You're gonna see your wrath bar down there. You're gonna see how it keeps spiking up. All the yellow numbers. Those are your crits. And so, basically it's gonna be randomly. Crits are going to have a chance to proc extra fury. And I'll just go until my war card, or my uh, wrath of berserker runs out. It actually looks like it's about to here. Not being able to find any mobs. You're gonna wanna spam your run like the wind and your, what is it called? Battle rage. And that's gonna be how you're gonna drain your fury. You're not gonna want your fury to spike all the way up. You're not gonna keep it all the way up. So, I mean, while, while you're uh, whirlwinding and everything though, you should be fine. Got a slayer drop, very, very nice. Actually, I'll just go ahead and end this video after this pack here. See him standing in the laser beams. Not to come uh, purposely running into them, but got a demonic demonic essence, and we are good to go. Go ahead and teleport out to get here. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chrome on Rust. As I said, I'll be giving this video away. Or this video, I'll be giving this set away. Just comment below and subscribe, and I'll be giving you this set. And to anyone else. Who's uh I'm gonna pick a second winner, he'll be getting five unidentified amulets. They've all been found in Inferno, they're all level sixty-three affixes. Sorry guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.